what I tell you earlier, two broke people, they love each other. Mm. When I was broke, traveling, doing interviews, and people didn't think highly of Say Cheese, they just thought I was a regular guy. Of course you can go anywhere. You're a regular guy. Yeah. But when you become a man of stature, on your owner, your boss, you're putting people in position, you can't move around like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I think the platform is doing on the whole. Y'all doing great. You like Y'all it? doing great, for sure. Yeah. Man, I, I watch I, the shit. I think I watched The Roll. Yeah, Carl yeah, I love it. Yeah, Carl yeah, was dope. I, I watch it. Man, thank you so much, man. Like I said, it means a lot to us because, like I said, we try to post, and it's not easy, Grant. It's not bro. easy. I do it, and you know if you see what we're doing and you do it, you know what it takes to exactly. do it. Exactly. It's not a game. It's not. Sean, I'm, I'm going to be real with you, man. When I, when I look at what you've done for this whole hip-hop a culture in the and I got to say the South because we're in the South. Mm -hmm. um, it opened a lot of doors for a lot of people, man. And um, I mean, you, but it's hard, man. I, I I had Taylor on here the other day, and Taylor was like, "He I always respected you." I had to think about you the same way. He was like, "I always respect you because you know you're a boss, and I'm a boss." And when I was playing, he played NFL mm -hmm. ball. You never <laughs> pressured me to you know to answer the phone. You knew if I was doing something, yeah. I'm busy. And I had to put you in that same category because I was like, man, at first I hit you a couple of times, like that nigga ain't wow. answering me back. But I got it yeah. because I started thinking of it the same way because I be busy too yeah. and, I, I, and I, I'm i trying to create waves to where I, I control my time. Right. Yeah, so I, need, I, I, I need to do better with that. No, and I know it, but I'm just telling you, I understand why too though. You need to do better, but you also need to stay focused because exactly. there's a lot come with what you're trying to accomplish and mm -hmm. what you're doing, a lot of people will never do, bro. Exactly. So I get it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, and I appreciate you for understanding that because a lot of times it becomes- People get mad at you. Yeah, like the Charleston mm -hmm. White shit. Like, That's something, yeah. bro. If I would've texted him back right when he asked me to come to the event, instead of two hours later, he wouldn't, we wouldn't even be right. talking about this right but now. That's the same thing with, with us the same way when he when he, I knew then I tell you that earlier on, I say if I don't hit him back he gonna he gonna get frustrated if I don't put this video out like when Dewberry come it was like man put it out put it out why you be clipping it because I know I understand that if you don't watch the whole video it hurts my views if you don't watch that whole video if I got a clip for five minutes on there and 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 you watch a little bit of it it ain't gonna hurt me as bad if I put a whole hour up and you watch just a little bit am I right you right and that's why I clip it. But right. I try. I, but he some kept, people hate it. He kept getting upset with me about that. Why yeah. you keep clipping the video? I said, dude, because I I understood that mm -hmm. it hurt my fa channel, and I also knew that to lay it out and make it look nice, I had to have them clips. And the uh, attention span. Nobody and, really right. wants to watch a two hour hour interview. People take shit in doses. You know but what I mean? People like why. to watch these interviews five, ten minutes here, come back five, ten minutes there. Because there's so much content out. I started doing it like that at first. Like, I was dropping the whole thing. But I I, I researched and I said, this hurting my channel. It's hurting. I got to start clipping this mm -hmm. stuff. Cause because that, cause then each topic, you can make a title about it. Correct. It's hard to title a two-hour interview. When you was right. coming here, I was dropping the whole thing. See? I started clipping it when you, after I did yours, that's when I started See? clipping it. But I was learning. I yeah. didn't know. And so as I was I learning. so new. And he, was, he was frustrated with me when I was and, learning. And when you, do, when you do full interviews, you, you probably make, man, you can make five times more clipping them. That's right. right. That's right. But then you're talking about that. A lot of a lot of other channels. When I research and look, they'll do the clips on YouTube and then put like the full one on Patreon. Patreon but I noticed yeah. you're not on Patreon. Why no, is that so? Not, I don't know. I need to get into it. I see people really doing that, but I just I don't know. But I see you Vlad, your Vlad just got off of Patreon and, and he sent all right. of his um, people. He said, "I'll refund you and put you." Um, I want y'all to go to Facebook and Instagram. So I'm like, okay. So why do you why get on Patreon? You can make that call and find out, and, and 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 then let us know. Let us so we won't make I'm the mistake. Asking. Vlad, Vlad is a, Vlad is a good dude because Vlad be hitting me up for a certain like people to put on his channel. Mm -hmm. So man, he, he posted us. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see that. And, that. And, and yeah, Vlad owed me a few favors, so I'm gonna call him and ask him about that. But, yeah, because I was very curious to that. I'm like, you know, you always want to know before Big you D, jump into Big stuff. D's on Patreon too. I'm asking. Yeah, about Big that. D's on pa yeah. Patreon. Oh yeah, mention Big Big D. You you know the gatekeeper list about to come back out. Man, I'm gonna call him. Don't put me on there. Just keep me. You, you, you beat our you beat our Jay Prince you last time. I, 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 I don't yeah. even like the comparison. He's like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, it's about yeah. to come hard and heavy. So be ready for yeah, the. No. For but the I remember backlash. what I was gonna ask you because you were talking about that. Um, you don't hang out with them and so forth with, with everybody. Because I don't like else, being in that space. Like, in that like, space. like we can go to a beach or a basketball game and sit courtside, or we can do. I don't like being in the studio. Right. If you if you look at the statistics. 
Sixty percent of artists who died were leaving the studio yeah. or heading to it That's or right. in the studio. I don't like being in the studio or in the club. I don't mind being. We can go out to eat. We can go to my to a beach. Chick, bring your chick. I bring my like shit like that. But it's grown folks, yeah, like hanging <laughs> out and being laid up, being at the crib and being in, in, in a trap and all that. I don't like none. But in I don't the like beginning being that of shit. your career, did you used to? Yeah, he did it. Yeah, he was in the street. But, but that's the, that's the thing. You see, when you were in the street back then, you didn't have to do it because you weren't made as yet. Yeah, because I wasn't a target. That, right when now you're that broke, you're made. What I tell you earlier, two broke people. They love each other. Mm -hmm. When I was broke, traveling, doing interviews, and people didn't think highly of Say Cheese, they just thought I was a regular guy. Of course you can go anywhere. You're a regular guy. Yeah. But when you become a man of stature, on your owner, your boss, you're putting people in position, you can't move around like that. No, that's you absolutely, what I'm saying? that's the truth, man. So that's why people don't look at me as that same guy. No, they you're not me, that same I'm guy. I'm fresh meat when, they, when niggas see I me. Never, when, I, when I see you talk about Vlad, and I know he's a mentor of yours and you watched his blueprint, but I always would say, man, you say that, but you're giving a little more credit to Vlad. And you was the one that I watched that would go out to these people's houses. You was out there looking crazy sometimes. And I, I mean, I, that's Gosh. what made it different for me with you. Like I, when I seen you, I was like, this guy ain't the same. You wasn't like Vlad to me because I seen you in the inner city the way you were going to these hoods man and you was really trying to get that out there I don't know where, where you got that Chicago, inner Chicago Philly New Orleans what's the craziest city you like? <laughs> I think New Orleans was like <laughs> Philly and New, was it Philly or New Orleans yeah, yeah we been in some, we been in some crazy Dallas get, get crazy oh yeah I seen you like we didn't been well I didn't been everywhere like mm -hmm. and I just feel like um, just just doing it I, I never doing it for the for the greater good, like for good intention, was why I was never scared. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.